A man died and his son wanted to ensure his father goes to heaven. In town there are many travel agents who book tickets to heaven. He went from travel agent to travel agent and everyone was willing to take the booking but no one had a confirmed ticket. But he wanted a confirmed ticket for his father. Then he found out that Gautama the Buddha himself was in town on that day. An enlightened being means that he has a hotline with God. If he himself recommends your father, your father goes straight into heaven without being stopped at the gates. So he went looking for him. Gautama was sitting under a tree in front of a huge lake outside the town. He went and fell at his feet and held on to his feet like an alligator and said, My father was a good man and he passed away. I want you to make sure that he goes to heaven. He must go up, not down. Before Gautama could open his mouth, he said, You should not say no. There is a tradition in India that if someone comes to you and requests I am going to ask you something, you should not say no. That means you cannot say no because he is that desperate about it. You have no choice. So Gautama said, Now what can I do? You have already put this stricture on me. I cannot say no. Alright, you do one thing. Go back home, have a dip in the river at 4 o'clock in the morning, take an earthen pot and fill it half with rocks and half with butter. Tie it with a cloth, bring it here and we will see what we can do for your father. Our men went. If your father is going to heaven, can you take a small pot? He bought the biggest pot available in town, filled it half with rock, another half with butter and tied it up. He carried this very heavy pot with great difficulty and came and stood in front of Gautama. Gautama looked at him and said, go around the lake three times and come. This is called a circumambulation, there is a science behind it, but now people take it to ridiculous lengths of going around everything three times. Gautama said, go around the lake three times and come. The man walked around the lake three times carrying this heavy pot. He was half finished when he came and stood in front of Gautama. Gautama looked at his condition and his determination. He told him, just walk into the water till the water comes to your chest. He went in. Then Gautama said, gently let the pot in. The pot went in and sank. Gautama picked up a thick stick, threw it to him and said, Take the stick and now with a single stroke, you must break the pot. The pot was under the water and the man was tired. Breaking this with a single stroke is a difficult task. But your father is going to heaven. Can you give up? He stood there and got ready. The man thought of all the gods that he knew and held his breath. Then Gautama said, if you break it in one single stroke, the stones will come and float on the surface. The butter will sink. Then your father has made it. In one hefty stroke, the pot broke and the butter came up. He looked at this sacrilege. Butter came up, now what to do? He looked at Gautama. Gautama said, he did not make it. Butter came up when stones were supposed to come up. And the man felt totally disappointed and dejected. Then he turned around and started walking back. As he started coming out of the water, his brain started to work. He came to Gautama and asked, You said that butter will sink and stones will float. How is that possible? The very laws of nature are such that stones can only sink, butter can only float. Did you deceive me? Gautama said, Oh, now that you know so much about the laws of nature, what is the problem? If your father is like butter, you will go up. If he is like a stone, you will go down. What can I do about it? And what can you do about it? You look very tired. Go home and sleep. So, this story teaches us several important life lessons. Acceptance of reality. The man desperately wanted his father to go to heaven, but he had to accept the reality that not everyone may be destined for heaven. This highlights the idea of accepting the outcomes that are beyond our control. Determination and perseverance. 
The man's determination to secure a confirmed ticket for his father's journey to heaven is commendable. He went to great lengths, carrying a heavy pot and walking around the lake three times, showcasing the power of determination and perseverance in achieving one's goals. Before we accept the situation, we must make sure that we made absolutely everything that was possible. Never accept a negative situation without trying your best to change it. Not being affected, but what we cannot control promotes resilience. There are situations in life where no matter what we do or don't do, the result will be the same. The only thing that we can do in those moments is to not let outcomes negatively impact our mental state. This is Inspired Daysa. Thank you for watching. If you want more life changing lessons, share through stories, subscribe to this channel. You can also go and watch any of the other videos on this channel. And don't forget, you have the power to change your life.